Hey y'all. I thought I would take you along on my grocery list this week. Um, let's see. I make my grocery list out for two weeks usually, so I'm gonna get back to my two weeks. I've been off a little bit because we went on vacation at the end of December. So um, January's through and we're going to get back to our every two weeks. And we are still on our half budget. I do once a year, I go um, when we get our taxes and if we get taxes back, a return back, and I like to go on a big grocery haul. Uh, I also try to take any Christmas bonus money that we get and try to do a grocery haul, a decent sized one then. I've been saving that Christmas money. Um, but anyway, doing those two things with that quote unexpected money, because we don't expect it if we don't get it back, it's, it'll be all right. But doing those two things with that unexpected money and then um, also eating venison and doing all of our own butchering of our deer and stuff in the fall, it really helps cut down on that grocery bill. And that's why we're able to cut our grocery bill in half to save for vacation for next summer. Um, we keep an ongoing list. When I run out of something, I'll just kind of write it down on this list. And then if we need it for another, for a meal, the next time I make the menu, then I know that we don't have it, so we need to get it. So this is how I'd usually do it. I just grab me a note, piece of notebook paper. Um, this is just a back piece. The other side was the last couple weeks. But I've got the dates wrote here and then I have all 14 days wrote out. And I do know that we eat dinner at church on Wednesday nights. So I have wrote down two Wednesdays. And usually just like on Monday or Tuesday, somebody will kind of announce what they're bringing and everybody else will just bring something that goes along with it like a Mexican night or you know Italian night or whatever. Um, I do have a chicken chili in the freezer that I think I might make. And then I have some tortilla chips that you eat it more like a ch chips and dip, kind of like nachos. So I'm thinking about doing that. So I kind of wrote that down next to Wednesday. And then also on Thursdays, I work out of town overnights. So the kids and Justin have pizza. So I have wrote those four meals down. And then I'm also going to write down leftovers at least twice because I know that we're going to have leftovers at least twice. So that gets six meals out of the way. So we need to come up with eight more. Uh, if we don't have enough leftovers to have leftovers, then it'll kind of just be like a thin night. I'll just go to the pantry, find something, go to the freezer, find something, a meal that I've meal prepped or something like that and get it started. So now that we've got the menu started and we have this list with us, let's go to, I'll go to the freezer and see what I've got kind of thinking about what kind of meals we can put together with food we already have on hand. Okay, here we are out in the freezer. I've got my notebook right here and we're just gonna kind of see what we've got. I've, I've kind of have in mind some things that I want. I've kind of been wanting some meatball subs. So I know that I have these meatballs, but I also have this meatballs for spaghetti that I have frozen. It's got a lot of sauce in it. There's a lot of meatballs in there too. So I'm thinking I might put this in a crock pot and let it go all day one day. And then all I have to buy is like the buns for the meatballs. So think about doing that. So I'm gonna write down some meatball subs here. Meatball subs. Boy, my handwriting's not very good on a bag of pizza sausage. All right, meatball subs. And then I got on Pinterest also to kind of look and see what I might have pinned that I would like to make. And look at all these Uncrustables, guys. <laughs> they were on sale for like a dollar a box. Got those with the extra money I had after groceries. We had like a few bucks left. Um, so I wanted to find, I wanted to make these cowboy beans. Cow, not cowboy beans. It was called a cowboy stew, cowboy soup, something like that. Anyway, it called for baked beans. And I thought, well, I want to make a big old pan of baked beans. I'm going to get at least two meals out of it then. So why don't we um, cook up some of these brats. And I have these hot dogs that we can be used. I can keep those up for any. So we'll do that. We'll have like brats and baked beans and a vegetable. Let's do brats. What goes with brats and baked beans? Hmm. Brats, baked beans, and... Oh, let's just write veggie. Probably corn. 
that'll probably be good. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, with these meatball subs, we'll have corn because we like to have corn with our, with our red sauce. Does anybody else do that? Is that weird? Whenever we have spaghetti or something, we'll have corn. We'll have meatball subs, we'll have corn. All right, so we're gonna have the brats with the baked beans and I'm also gonna make that cowboy stew. Cowboy stew. And let's do some ground meat. Now I do have, I have this ground beef right here. So let's do, I wanna do like a beef and noodles. Beef and noodles. All right, now let's go check the status of our veggie freezer. All right, this looks like a hot mess because it is. <laughs> this is my veggie and leftover and meal prep freezer, okay? It looks pretty scary, but um, it's usually well organized or I would say usually, but usually it starts that way when I first get it organized and then everything just happens. So we've got some extra bread in here that's been thrown in when we, um, before we got the other freezer. So this is where I usually keep my veggies here in the door and then down here in this little rack. So I do know that I have this Asian seasoned medley. Oh, I'm gonna cover my camera. Oh, I think I am. All right, so I have this Asian seasoned medley and I wanted to make that ramen Asian stir fry. So let's do the, we'll just write ramen stir fry on here. And I'm gonna put with zucchini because I need some, I'm gonna put zucchini on mine. And then, Here's our veggie situation where we made the hamburger soup the other night. We've got half a bag of each of these. So I don't need to buy any like mixed veggies. So we can have um, peas or corn on the side with the uh, brats for dinner that night. And then I wanted to use up some of this stuff. So I'm thinking that we could do, drop that bowl right there. I'm thinking that we could do some chicken tacos. This is only half full. So, and then this is also a shredded deer meat that I made. So I'm thinking I could cook both of those up or heat them up and let's do like a chicken taco night. I also have this bag of burritos back here that I could make a full meal out of one of these days. Hmm. And what's this? This is a nacho bean dip from the crock pot. Needs to be used, definitely. But it's spicy. I wrote very spicy on it. So I think Justin and I will probably have a nacho night on date night one night. So I think that'll about do it. Let me write these down. We saved the bowl. It broke a little, but it's okay. It's still functional. All right, into our fridge here, which is looking rather sad and empty. I have a full bag of carrots still. I've been working on this bag. I just about got it snacked on and ate up. But I think what I'll do is pull out a deer roast and just throw these carrots in with it. And we'll have roasting carrots one night, maybe with an instant mashed potato because I've got those in my pantry. All right, this is the status of our pantry. This snack section is always scary. But I do know that I have, I've got these instant mashed potatoes. Out in our pantry, out in the garage, I have another big bag. Oh, that's not mashed potatoes. So I have a big box of mashed potatoes in a bag out there. So we'll at least have some mashed potatoes to go with that roast. That'll be good. Oh, look at this taco sauce. I had a recipe that needed some taco sauce a while back and I was too cheap to pay for it. And then somehow, I think this came in a box of food that somebody gave to us for free and now I have taco sauce but I don't have no use for it now. Maybe I'll put it on the tacos. I don't know. Something. All right. That sounds good. Ooh, here's some beans we could put on the tacos with the chicken and the shredded deer. That would be good. All right. So now that we've got all of our meals wrote down, we can make the grocery list. All right. I'm going to write down our roast with carrots right here. And then mashed potatoes. Now let's write a list of some things. I'm just gonna um, go through each meal and write a list of some things that I'm gonna need. You know what I need to do? I need to go out real quick and see how many pieces we have. I think they've used them all, but I don't wanna buy extra if I don't need it. So I'll be back. 
All right, I went and checked and we do need one pizza. We have one, so we need another one. So I have one ahead and wrote that down. This is the list I'll take with me to the store. So I wrote down pizza. When I make my grocery list that I'm taking to the store, I do like to write down a about guesstimated price next to the item. I've done this for years and it helps me to not go over budget. Helps me to know just about how much my total should be when I get to checkout. Now, prices have gone up quite a bit. And some stuff I don't always know how much it is, so I just kind of guesstimate and that helps keep me in my range. So if something costs a little bit more, a little bit less, I can kind of write out just next to it and keep real close track of it. So you might be wondering about breakfast and lunch. So for breakfast, I do know that I have the stuff to make breakfast casserole. We've got tater tots in the freezer. We have eggs from the farm fresh eggs and we have sausage in the freezer. And I have a I have pancake mix to make pancakes and we can also make sausage gravy and have it over bread. I got plenty of sausage and bread in the freezer and then gravy mix also. And for lunch, the kids take leftovers and Justin, they take leftovers or they'll take bologna sandwiches. We've got plenty of bread and bologna with mayonnaise and all that jazz. We get all the condiments in the fridge. Uh, sometimes they like to take ramen and for a treat they'll have, we've got plenty of jello boxes and muffins. I've got some red velvet muffin mix down there. I've got some banana muffin mix down there. Um, so I'll make a couple different of those things. And then we've also got plenty of chips on hand. So that's really all we need as far as making up the meals. Um, I do know that I am out of onion, so I'm going to add, I need some white onion. And then also when I have um, tacos, I like to have green onion and I just used up the last of my green onion in the window. So it's time to buy some more green onion. So I'm gonna write those down. I'm gonna look back at this list at some things that we didn't have. I do know that I need a, I just used up the last of my taco seasoning. So I need a pack of taco seasoning. I'll write this here. And then I need um, a Kool-Aid pack to make some Kool-Aid. We've got plenty of sugar. Uh, I better double check our sugar just in case, but I do know I need a, just a couple of packs of Kool-Aid. Now they have a variety pack at Aldi. I'll have to see if they still carry that. I haven't bought it in a long time because I haven't needed any. Um, I had plenty, but now we're running low. I think all we've got is grapes, so we need to stock up on some different flavors. So I'll check the variety pack at Aldi. If I cannot get it at Aldi, I do write Walmart with a question mark out here to the side. It lets me know Aldi and Walmart is what we have um, around here. There are two more grocery stores, but I don't usually go to those. Um, they're like, they're a little more higher priced than I like to pay. So I go to Aldi or Walmart. And then I'm out of canned tomatoes and tomato soup. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave those on this list. And then this is our household. What we need household this week, we do need a toilet seat. Justin used some blue toilet cleaner to clean the seat. <laughs> he stained it completely blue and it's fine. It can stay stained blue, but we do just need a new one anyway. So we're just going to go ahead and get one. But anyway, so I think that that pretty well does it. I'm going to think about how much these cost, kind of look at some old receipts um, from the past few months and see about how much they cost when I bought them then to kind of help guesstimate and that will keep us on track. And then we'll go shopping tonight's Wednesday night. Um, we will go shopping Friday when I get home from work. Hey guys, it is Friday and we are out and about in town doing our shopping. There's Emmy. And we just got the two things that were on the back of our Walmart list. Justin has to run over to Harbor Freight and to the feed store and get some stuff. But then we're hitting up the Aldi. And y'all, there are so many people at the Walmart today. Well, I just realized it's the third. But also, there wasn't no buggies. We didn't need one. But there was people standing there waiting for some buggies because there wasn't no buggies. There's so many people at Walmart. I couldn't get into that store fast enough. We only needed two things. Thank goodness. All right, see y'all at Aldi. All right, folks, we're going into the Aldi. That was just some serious face until he realized he was on camera. And I had cottage cheese on the list, but I did take that off. Um, I marked it off because Justin's mom traded some farm fresh eggs for some milk with cream in it the other day from some fresh cow's milk and she is going to make cottage cheese this weekend so we're gonna see how that tastes so we took that off there and according to our list we should be around 22.65 ish before taxes of course we got taxes around here so um 
Should be about that. I might add a head of lettuce, depending on what they look like, if they look good, if not, you know. Um, that might be the only thing that we add. We'll see. We'll see what we can find in here. We had all the success, but we have good news. We've been a little bit over budget because, well, we're still in our monthly budget, but we went a little bit over because they had tuna. They haven't had tuna in water in a long time. And Justin likes to take that for his lunch sometimes. So we bought four cans of tuna. Yay. All right. We'll see y'all whenever we get home and I'll show you everything we got. But there's our Aldi grocery haul. Look at that. Just kidding. Here's what we got for groceries for the next two weeks. And also we'll be eating out of the freezer and stuff like I showed you. So this is what our list looked like. I was decided not to get the cottage cheese. We we're gonna make some. So we budget $95 for the month divided by two weeks. Divided by two because I go shopping every two weeks. It is about $47.50 every two weeks. We can spend more or less of that for two weeks. Just gotta keep track of it. So at Walmart, we got, I needed a water squeezy for Justin's waters and the kids needed a new toilet seat and Emmy picked the glow in the dark one and she's so excited about it. I love it. <laughs> so our total at Walmart was $26.79 for these two things. Um, tax was $1.95 and 25 cents. So $24.59 before taxes. That's Walmart. The rest of the stuff we got at Aldi. And something that, that what I got wasn't on the list was this ready to bake pizza dough. And then I went ahead and got the head of lettuce that I was considering getting. I just wanted to see how they looked. And we got four cans of tuna that were not on the list. So I am a firm believer in if it's not on the list, it doesn't go in the buggy. But this week we went ahead and got the tuna since I haven't had it for weeks. And I only had one of these on the list. And Justin informed me that I made, uh, I went back to making my list on Wednesdays for two weeks. My bad. I need two of these because I had the one that we had in the freezer they ate last night. So I got one. I was going to get a second one, but then I saw this. And it was $1.39. And this is three, these used to be like $2.99 or $1.99 and now they're, what are they, $3.69. But anyway, um, Gunner's going to be here this week and he loves to cook and loves to bake. And I thought that the kids would have fun making this with Justin and then we've already got, we have a can of spaghetti sauce and some pepperoni so they can make their own pizza and some cheese. So they can make their own pizza. I thought that would be fun for them. So instead of um, sub rolls or hoagie buns for the meatball subs, just got hot dog buns. And they had a three pack of zucchini, which I was excited for. For like a dollar something, dollar sixty nine. Let me see, zucchini, dollar uh, thirty nine a pound. No, oh, I think that's what it says. Anyway, for this whole bag, it was two oh nine for three of them. And I was just gonna buy one, and I had budgeted a dollar for just one, but. 
three, even better. So there we go. I'm excited. Oh, one more thing. They did not have all the Kool-Aid packs, like the little that you mix with sugar, but they had this. It's supposed to have 16 servings in it and you just squirt it into a bottle of water. I budgeted $2 for Kool-Aid and this was $1.99. So Emmy can make this last for, uh, she's gonna have to make this last for two weeks. Once it's gone, it's gone. Bye-bye. And I forgot to show you, we got this case of spring water. That's easy for the boys to put in their coolers and take to work. And then they always fill them up to use these little squeezies in them, like refill them. So that's what we got. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you for making, watching us uh, with the menu planning, making the menu, making the grocery list, going shopping with us. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope it was inspiring. I hope that it uh, helps y'all to stick to a budget, make a budget, stick to a budget, enjoy grocery shopping, enjoy making meals for your family, and we'll see y'all in the next one.